Hello, I'm Luke Catfield. I am joined by Matt Mayer here at the Express and Star. Matt, the first January transfer window signing has come in for Wolves, Mr. Rafa Mir. Uh, what can fans expect to see from him? Can he, can he be the guy to provide goals for Wolves? Well, they haven't missed around, have they? I mean, this is a, clearly a deal that was was, was in you know the uh, in mm -hmm. the offing some time. You don't make signings on what was it the third of January? Yeah. Um, you know, w without them being some time in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. In terms of to, you know what he's like as a player, obviously people can look on uh, the internet and s stuff like that. He's, he's not played a, a huge amount for v Valencia, mm -hmm. uh, but clearly a player that's known well to to, to Nuno. And, f and frankly, <laughs> considering the players that have come into Wolves this season so far, or mm -hmm. came in last summer, uh, who are we to doubt his uh, you know his, his judgment? I mean, uh, you've mm -hmm. got to say that the crop. Uh, that came in last summer compared to the summer before mm -hmm. have all by and large uh, paid off big time mm -hmm. so it's exciting to, to see what um, you know what, what what this new lad can can bring clearly an area of the pitch where they, they you know they were sure only Leo, Leo Bonatini um, you know as they're only their sole out and out striker yeah. um, really so so it will give it will give him a chance to, to kind of rest up I, th I think it's more it's, it's a four and a half year deal mm -hmm. clearly They've got to sign players now that, that that can do it in the Premier League. That that is where Wolves are are, are going to end up. Um, you know, they've got to be. Whether he's going to have an impact immediately mm -hmm. uh, remains to be seen. But certainly, a player that they feel you know has a, has a certain potential to you know in in the top flight. Yeah, and you touched on Bonatini. It does bear a lot of resemblance to his signing because Bonatini, of course, came in. Not many fans knew who he was. I mean, he came came from almost nowhere. Obviously, on a loan deal. This one's permanent, but it does bear resemblance to that, doesn't it? Uh, to a certain extent, yeah. I mean, I think Bonatini, you know, a bit further on in his career, a mm -hmm. bit more kind of bit more experience, a bit more. Work worldly wise yeah um, but but Wolves clearly have you know the thing Wolves have got is they've got a, a, a model now they've got a system mm -hmm. and these players fit into fit into that system um, you know uh, th the suggestion is that they're going to look at another forward mm -hmm. um, you know it's it's probably you know I think it, it's we all agree it's going to take something extraordinary now for them not to not to be promoted. Um, this is, you know, they, they do need, you know, kind of uh, reinforcements up front just to guard against, you know, in, in injury. Mm -hmm. I think Rafa Mir, we're definitely going to see him at some stage, prob probably sooner rather than later. I mean, yeah. the one thing you could say also about about Nuno is he's, he's shown no no fear of throwing uh, sort of throwing players in. Mm -hmm. um, so he's clearly going to have a, an impact in the in the short term. But I think you've got to look at it uh, with with the contract he signed. Certainly a more long term. Uh, Long-term deal as well. Uh, you know, a player they feel clearly feel can can you know can can be a good player for for years to come. Mm. So Rafa Mir joins Nuno's revolution at Molyneux, uh, the first man to do so in this January. For all the latest on comings and goings, make sure you stick with us at expressandstar.com.